Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to send action data to the store. Uh, by now you've learned how to dispatch actions to the Redux store, but so far these actions have not contained any information other than type. You can also send specific data along with your actions. In fact, this is, this is very common because actions usually originate from some user interaction and tend to carry some data with them. The Redux store often needs to know about this data. There's a basic notes reducer and an add note text action creator defined in the code editor. Finish the body of the add note text function so that it, there's a basic notes reducer, so here's our notes reducer, and an add, te add note text, add note text action. So this is an action and then this is a reducer. Um, finish the body of the add notes text, so here we go, uh, function so that it returns an action object. It returns an action object. So it returns an action object. Okay. So we want to return um, an object, ob an action object. The object should include a type uh, property with a value set to add note. Um, but we want to just use the global one instead of just this guy. So type of add note and also the text property set to the note data that's passed into the action creator. And so we want to have set to note data and and also a text property set to note. And note is defined here. That's passed into the action creator. When you call the action creator, you'll pass in specific note information that you can access in the object. So for example, if you were to go add note uh, text, you would say note. The note would be say something like this is the note. And then this gets passed in as the note and the type is add note. So we're using this as a way to do it. So I'm just defining that there. So next, finish writing the switch statement. <coughs> So here's the switch statement. In the notes reducer, you need to add a case that handles the add note text actions. So we want to go case, and we want to do the case where action.type, in the case that it's add note, we want to um, return. The case should be triggered whenever there is an action add note and it should return the text property of the incoming action as the new state. So we want to return the state of text is equal to uh, add note text is equal to uh, note as the new state. The action is dispatched at the bottom of the code once you're finished. Note is not defined, so that's not right. So we want the text, add note text is equal to action.note. Text is undefined. Let's run the test and see what passes and what doesn't. That's all it takes to send action specific data to the store when you update the store. Dispatching an action of type add note with the add note text action creator should update the state to the string passed to the action creator. Return text action dot type. We want to, if in the case that it's an add note, we want to return text. Add note text, add note text. Pass in the note, then we return the type of add note and a note. Add note text of hello. Text is hello. What happens if here if we console dot log action dot type? Okay, so we can't do that here. Uh, what happens if we do it here? We get that Redux thing. Um, what about if we go action dot note? It's undefined. Action dot state huh huh let's think about this dispatching note creator update state is the string passed to the action creator 
Text is undefined. Text action dot note. The action is the notes reducer. The notes reducer dispatch. We're doing the notes reducer. So because this is type of note text, the type is an add note, and then our text is note. Our text action dot note. No, it's action dot text. Initial state text. Hello. Okay, that's not right. We want to return. Maybe we don't return the whole object. Maybe we just return the text. Okay, so that's how you do this one. Um, first off, we've got a constant, which is called add note, and that's just equal to a string, which is add note. Um, this is a global variable, global constant, which makes it so that we can use it throughout the whole application without it changing. We've got our notes reducer, and we set our state to initial to initial state, uh, and then our action. So this is just defining our uh, notes reducer. And we've got a switch statement in which we ask the action dot type. So here we've got uh, our type down here, and so if it's add note, we want to say return our action dot text. So that means our action dot text. Otherwise, we just refer return the uh, state, and if the state's in its initial state, we just in return initial state. And then here we set it up so that we return our uh, if some if we call an add note text we return a default type of add note and then we also in here we also include in the text key value pair the note which would be in this case it's here so when we actually run this function we get this object returned with text equal to the note but which is hello with an exclamation point at this point and then here we set the store with the notes reducer which is the notes reducer here. So this is where we start bringing all the pieces together. And then, um, yeah, store.getState. So here we're printing out initial state, which is this guy right here. And that comes from the default value. So we're saying, what's the state of the store? Well, this initial state is, of the store is there. And then when we say store.dispatch, let's, that meaning let's run a, our add note text um, action function on it. And then we're saying, well, it's saying uh, it's this is actually coming out to just this simple object right now. It, but instead of note, we're passing in hello with an exclamation point. And so we pass that in to our dispatch, which uh, runs through our reducer. So our action comes in as this um, object, except for with the hello instead of just the note variable. And so our action, so we say action.type, our action.type is add note. And so because if in the case that our action type is add note, we want to return action.text, which means we're going to return the hello. So we're going to set that to the state so that the text state of the um, of the store is uh, hello. And that's how we get this guy right here. And that's how Redux works. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.